Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we are talking about my third Elina. So I have got uh, uh, visual liners in um, and this is my third time round, my third uh, aligner tray. Um, it's been a little bit late of me doing an update on this one, so I do apologise for that, but it has been a very hectic few weeks. But let's get down to it. So how have things been? Well, let me be honest with you. My third one has to be the most painfulest. I have to admit, I don't want to be shocking anybody or scaring anybody off from having it because it is a really nice way to straighten your teeth. Myself, I am not necessarily doing it to straighten my teeth. I've had some change on the arch of my uh, my left side of my mouth, so the arch of my teeth. Um, I'm undergoing some investigations and things in the background with health, so that's unfortunately we think that there's a little bit of a link to that, but it's not a problem. We're rectifying it through a visual line. Yes, I've had to pay for it, but I'm seeing great results already. So I've been doing this since the very start of January, and straight away, I mean, this is my third one. The third, um, so third visual line. Uh, on, as you can see. And um, yeah, I'm noticing change. I really, really am. And what I would say is the change is probably from my teeth. It's probably, it is from my teeth. But it's, if you can imagine that's my teeth, it's more sort of, sort of correcting them rather than sort of the arch coming in on the side. It's sort of making more of a, a nicer bow to my teeth. So much more of a nicer shape. And I can already start to see that. I'm on tray three of 14, um, which I really, really like because. It feels like it's just shot by, so hopefully that does as well. But however, having said that, it's it's not invasive. Do you know what I mean? I don't, most of the time, after that initial pain has gone of changing the tray, I don't notice I've got them in. I don't have any problems now with a little bit of a lisp, which I did have, first of all, the first tray. After that sort of first 10 days went, um, it was only ever so slight, and then it completely disappeared. And now I can talk fine. Um, within my job, I have to talk a lot. I have to present a lot, and I can do that fine with them in. Um, I would say my mouth still gets quite dry with them. I would say that this is probably my most painfulest uh, tray yet, and that was for about the first four days, and it really felt like somebody was pulling on my front teeth. Um, but not to the extent where you had to take any pain relief or anything, just uncomfortable. Um, so you just have to be really, really careful. Of course, I've got like these, uh, like almost like ceramic notches put on my teeth. So the visual line clip sort of clips, it clips to those and then it pushes against those. Um, and yeah, it's, I can already see from, even from my channel, doing my channel, this side here used to be a little bit of a shadow there. That's how I actually started noticing that something was changing. And actually, you can see it's pretty much equal already. So we're kind of now fine tuning. And I know in March, I've got an appointment to have some of the teeth uh, slightly altered in shape, which is through choice of myself as well. It's a little bit more expensive, but um, it's something which I want to do. Um, and I just think that will overall sort of just finish things off really, really nicely. Um, in terms of the scan, um, so I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to go to no sort of medical office, no dental office, anything like that at all. I do it through the scan box pro, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm still getting used to this. And you, so you take your smartphone. Okay. So you do need to have a smartphone for this. Um, and then what actually happens is you get this kind of design device here, a little bit like, uh, so it moves around. And then what you need to do is you have a mouth detractor here. So I wash this off every time I use this. Um, and then this clips into, I got this on the right way. This clips into here, he says. It looks a bit awkward. <laughs> mouth goes here, phone clicks in here with a camera in here. And then you do it in front of a mirror. And then you can see what's happening. Then I use the uh, dental monitoring app, which is really, really great. Really nice and easy, straightforward. And if you do have any problems with doing this scan yourself, you follow the steps. You, you, It's almost like it tells you what it does. It tells you what to do all the way through the scan. You double tap each window when you go through each window, what you need to do. And then you can review it. And then uh, your uh, dental professional who's looking after your care um, has a look. And then if there's any issues, he will let you know. So I... For the three scans I've done already, I've been complimented on my dental hygiene and have looked after um, my teeth already. Um, there has been a point on my third uh, scan that um, that I just need to be careful and that I need to start using these chewies a little bit more, which is, I keep them in a case like this, and just looks like a little bit of plastic tubing, to be quite honest. And then when you clip them in, 
just two. Oh. All the way around, just so they help and have a nice snug bit to the teeth. So you're ultimately helping the teeth and the aligner sit really nice and tight together so they can ultimately really work in, I suppose, perfect harmony so you can get the best sort of movement, the best experience with the visual line. So sometimes it's quite painful, particularly on the front teeth here, but I put them in and literally just for a minute or two, I just sit there and and go all around, very much like that. <laughs> I had to show you that. I keep them in a case as well, so keeping them nice, and I wash them off very often as well. The retractor, of course, when I'm putting that away. Um, can't get that up. Hmm. So then I clean all that off and put that away as well. For me, any negatives at the moment on my third aligner? I would say no. Um, as I say, it's probably the most discomfort I felt with the aligner. One thing which I really, really like is that last, the second one, I used to have to sometimes bite together to push the aligner up on my teeth really nice and snug. It was almost like it had a little bit of space there. That stopped, that's gone away, which is really nice. The discomfort we've covered. Um, I still sometimes get some quite sore areas where the bottom of the aligner rubs on the gum. Um, and you may think that you've seen something black there. It's not decay. <laughs> There's some information written on the back two teeth of the aligner, both top and bottom. Um, yeah, so that can sometimes be a little bit uncomfortable, but I do find um, that all depends on certain toothpastes and things I use as well. I was using a whitening one, and I found that was a little bit too harsh and strong after doing my teeth and then putting the aligner straight on your teeth. I found that it would almost lock some of the product in and agitate my gum a little bit. So I've stopped doing that now. Um, and I'm just trying to be ultra careful using a really soft brush um, and just looking after my gum health as well. And of course, shortly I'll have my dental appointment coming up just to, to get things checked over with the dentist as well as um, the orthodontist and the orthodontic specialist who I'm under as well. So that's really, really great. And then I know in March, um, I have got my appointment to have things looked at uh, dental wise. Um, we're really, really close now to going on to my fourth aligner. So apologies for that sort of delay. Um, but yeah, as I say, unfortunately, it's, it's not been a great uh, couple of weeks, unfortunately. Um, I've had some health problems revisit me, unfortunately, all in relation to my subscribers will know. Um, I've had a lot of problems with my groin. I've had my groin reconstructed and um, I had a really bad fall. Um, and that really sent me right back. Um, my mum's had major surgery and she's going through her recovery. So I've been really trying to look after her um, as, as well as I can and just absolutely trying to make sure that she's OK in every moment of the day to be caught on view, she's my world and she's looked after me throughout so many of my operations and I want to do the same back um so that's been keeping things busy but I would not have it any other way and I'm just so proud and privileged that I get to um so that's been going on too studying I've started in a new job as well so lots and lots going on as well as of course the improvement for my teeth okay so um bit of a short uh, update there but if you do have any questions or anything for me at all please feel free to ask ask any questions you wish i'll do my utmost best to come back to you as quickly as i can um and if i don't i will always get back to you it's just unfortunately life's a pretty bit hectic at the moment like a lot of people um but i will be doing an update shortly just why things have changed at the moment and we'll go into a little bit more detail okay so thank you very much for being here um and until next time wishing you all the very best god bless take great care and i'll be seeing you then bye now